The Kwara State Polytechnic was established in 1972 by the Kwara State government to provide technical and science-oriented courses to indigent students and those seeking admission from outside the state. Over 5,000 hectares of land was acquired to build the school and settlement made to the traditional owners. But the families of those settled decades ago are adamant that they still have rights, taking over nearly 2,000 hectares. The knowledgeable people here are enjoying the benefits of the land. The real owners of the land have gained nothing. If I'm lying, my father is here. He didn't receive any compensation. Let's see the names of those compensated listed on a big screen so it can be verified that they were compensated. We believe that if the polytechnic is fenced, it will take care of this next challenge, which is a uh, challenge of land encroachment. As part of measures to put a permanent stop to the encroachment, the management of the school, in collaboration with the alumni body, organized a stakeholders meeting with the villagers, government officials, and student body, among others. We are of the view that they are ready to use all means, including threats, terrorism, sponsored court cases, and blackmailing to snatch the land they do not own. The total area left for Kuala State Protection for Development is actually about 3,500 hectares. They were, however, pacified and made to see reason for amicable resolution as they joined the committee to issue a communique later. As part of the resolution, any villager laying claim to any portion of the land is mandated to tender documents while future developments have been stopped until a final resolution is reached. Kwana State Geographic Information Service should be contacted in their office by every private de developer to find their land status. The Kwara State government on several occasions had explained that the land had been acquired and compensation given to the original owners. When Kwara Poli was being established, as it then was, and it was not Kwara Poli at the beginning, when it was established, the government, yes, go ahead, the government actually acquired some land for the Poli to sit on. I am very sure that this land is properly marked, which means the boundary of Kwara Poli is known to the law of Kwara State. This meeting is expected to serve as the beginning of more interaction to end the land crisis.